welcome to FIBA India podcast. The cross was a symbol of shame. The Lord turned it into a symbol of victory. The cross was a symbol of punishment. The Lord turned it into a symbol of sacrifice. At the cross there was forgiveness, relationships redefined, love was seen at its best. I would like us to take a look at the cross and see the three things it revealed. One, cross revealed the faithfulness of God. Jesus remained faithful to God in the midst of his pain, his helplessness, his loneliness. Jesus Jesus followers followed him at a distance when he wanted them most at the garden of Gethsemane. They were there and yet not there. Jesus knew it. He saw it. He heard the murmurings of their heart. He walked to the cross sorrowful, fully knowing he was sent for this purpose. He never chose a shortcut. Cross was the only way for redemption. Jesus is the only answer. He shout on the cross, "My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me?" reveals his humanness. We too have been there, is it not? you too are asking that lord how long why should i go through it it is a shout of anguish with all this jesus remained faithful to the father that is why he ended saying father into thy hands i commend my spirit you know friends sometimes when we go through a valley when we go through a painful experience when we don't get what we want and when things happen differently we immediately question god and we distance ourselves from god and we take our eyes from the lord we get so bitter and angry but look at jesus he never took his eyes off the father even on the cross he cried out father into thy hands i commend my spirit he remained faithful to the father He remained faithful to the purpose for which he was sent. Paul says in Romans chapter 8 verse 38, For I am sure that neither death nor life nor angels nor rulers nor things present for things to come nor power nor height nor depth nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of god in christ jesus our lord the cross reveals the faithfulness of our lord the second thing you find here cross also reveals his forgiveness jesus from the cross made a prayer of forgiveness it is not a prayer made for few He did not pick up people and say okay these are the people who need forgiveness but there are others who are worse than them so let us leave them out but if you look at his prayer it was a prayer made from the cross and all of them were there the mockers the railers the scoffers the denier the thieves the silent spectators all of them needed forgiveness and Jesus asked the father to forgive them what a great role model forgiveness is not based on my feeling forgiveness is not optional the spirit of forgiveness is so big that all everybody in in spite of how big the crime is we are all included his selfless prayer was a sincere prayer it is not a prayer thinking if they are forgiven he can escape the cross Jesus did not have any ulterior motive in asking for forgiveness. It was a prayer that came from a sincere heart and that was his purpose. He came to set people free. This forgiveness is available to you and me now. Maybe you're sitting and saying I am a worse sinner. No one can ever forgive me. I am beyond redemption. May I say this? No matter how bad our past is, No matter how present is ruin there is one person who can accept us as we are his the death on the cross 
is to receive you with me and give us that new life to forgive us totally and that is why the bible says in 1 john chapter 1 verse 9 if you confess your sins he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all our righteousness have you received that forgiveness cross will remain just an emblem if you and i do not receive that forgiveness from the lord but if you and i receive that forgiveness and experience the new life the cross will add more value to our life the cross revealed his faithfulness the cross revealed his forgiveness the third thing you see here is this cross revealed his forbearance how was it possible for the lord to walk to the cross with disciples who were inconsistent selfish unpredictable ambitious and murmuring yes there were discouragements they did not understand christ's purpose when he said i have to suffer they did not allow it but jesus persisted he persevered he never allowed their action their attitude to distract him from that purpose for which he was sent by the father now jesus had many opportunities to retaliate he was questioned by the rulers by the authorities he was let down by his own disciples they questioned him they called him by all sorts of name and jesus had a lot of opportunities to retaliate to exercise his power but he did not even though he knew that judas is going to betray him even though he knew that peter is going to deny him he still invited them for the supper in the upper room he did not remove them from the band of disciples saying disciples come here i have something to tell you i am going to remove these two people others can participate because i know the intention of their heart no he didn't do that he included them in the supper why because the lord is a forgiving lord and he wants to give them an opportunity to come closer to repent to reconcile and to come closer when the enemies of the cross were mocking him and when the thieves were railing at him he remained silent he could have called from heaven he could have shouted and brought thunder lightning and everything to destroy them but he didn't the lord is not a god of a second chance but he is a god of multiple chances he is forbearing with us even today look at our own life look at your life in spite of us going back on our word in spite of us being inconsistent in spite of us not being faithful to him he still persists with us because he loves us the lord who is forbearing doesn't want us to perish and he gives us that opportunity even now for us that we will recognize the goodness of god the faithfulness of god the forgiveness of god and come to him and say lord i am in need of that forgiveness and that is why the bible says in john's gospel chapter 3 verse 16 for god so loved the world he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life underline whosoever no matter who you are no matter where we are no matter what we have done his love is so big to embrace all of us to embrace you and me and say it's come into the kingdom it is for this purpose i came and deliberately gave myself willingly gave myself as an offering and that is why it is called good friday what is so good about that friday it is so good that we are forgiven by the blood of jesus christ we have an open access we can come to the presence of the lord because of what jesus christ did for you and me on the cross remember friend cross reveals three things the faithfulness of god the forgiveness of god and the forbearance of god but this will become meaningful only when you and i 
come to the foot of the cross now and say, Lord Jesus, thank you. Lord Jesus, thank you for forgiving my sin. Lord Jesus, thank you for accepting me as I am. I want you as the Lord of my life. A Savior, forgive my sins, Lord. Make me new. Let this be a prayer. Remember, the cross is not the end. Sunday, wait for the resurrection. God bless. For feedbacks, please write to us to info at fibaonline.org or WhatsApp us to 9163642521640.